Nothing has really changed on hole one except for the wind. The angle seems to be more of a cross than a tail. So keep kind of keep an eye out for that in case it changes on the weekend because if it's more of a tail, you're not gonna wanna push it as much. So here I actually went 5.5 topspin. I could have pushed it to six topspin um, in all honesty. I over adjusted my shot with a 10% over adjustment and I pushed up to max. So any driver that you're using, make sure you push up to max and you want to push it a little bit more because the further you get up near the rough, then the less likely the tree will be in your way. I did add some curl because I just wanted to see what it did and it doesn't make any real big huge difference. So if you want to add a little bit of curl, go ahead and do so. But here I did push it a little bit more to get my yardage up there. Um, the further, the better, and the tree won't be in your way. At yardage 390, I went 60% slider with a plus 20% over adjustment. So this shot is a plus 20% over adjustment at the slider of your club, and the chart will follow after this clip of the yardages we have hit thus far. For hole two, here is what we are playing with a sniper 10, we're playing at a plus 20 at 30% slider and a sniper nine plus 20 with a 34% slider. So what you're going to do is do three left spin with 0.2 backspin and you're going to aim your guide to the left edge of the cup and you'll see a little bit of a funnel when she wiggles it back and forth. So it's at the left edge of the cup, she wiggles it, finds the little funnel and then she takes one side spin off. So you're gonna do 0.2 backspin with two left spin after you have found that little funnel. And then uh, you're going to over adjust your shot with a plus 20% uh, over adjustment at 30% slider for a sniper 10. Here we have another spider lady who is doing the same shot. You're gonna be doing three left spin with 0.2 backspin. Your yellow ring is gonna be up near the rough line and your ball guide is going to be on the left of the cup where the funnel is. So do a little bit of a wiggle. You will find that little funnel and then you're going to take one side spin off so that it leaves you with 0.2 backspin and two left spin. Over adjust your shot with a plus 20% elevation at 30% slider with a sniper 10. When you pull your rings, make sure you are trying to pull as straight as possible. If you feel like taking a higher risk, there is a quarterback rough bump option. You do a power two ball with a win five ball. You're gonna do 2.1 backspin with two left spin, and then you're gonna basically aim to the right of the pin. You are going to then um, under adjust your shot with a minus 5% elevation at min distance. So it's min distance with a minus 5% elevation, and you wanna pull as straight as possible favoring 1201 and again this shot was provided by the expert chats and i believe peter johnson's crew is also doing this shot so again it plays at min with a minus five percent elevation
For hole 3, the drive is the same, but our sliders have changed for the second shot. So here with our APOC, we're going to do 4 right spin with 3 top spin. You're going to set up at the plus 12 yard mark with your APOC, and then your red ring is going to be a little bit into the rough. You're going to over adjust your shot with a 10% over adjustment and then give it a little bit of baby curl on your shot. Do not use overpower on this shot. At yardage 351, I use 35% slider with a minus 10% elevation. You're going to use around 6 bars of left spin with 2.1 bars of top spin. This spin can vary depending on your yardage and where you ended up on your drive. What I'm looking for is my red ring hugging the rough line near the tip of the rough, basically, where the rough is curving. I want it to be as close as possible to that area. My red ring is going to be hugging the rough line and my ball guide is going to be going to the center of the cup. I am then going to be pulling as straight as I possibly can with a minus 10% elevation and the slider uh, yard, yardage numbers will be provided after this clip. Thank you to my member Morris Lindroth for providing me with his shot and also Paul Rogan for coming up with this shot. We're going to do one backspin with three left spin with a power one win five ball with your Grizzly. Your second bounce is going to be on the edge or the top edge of the um, dark green square with your ball guide going to the right side of the cup. You're going to over adjust your shot with a plus 20% over adjustment at maximum distance and then you're going to try and pull as straight as possible favoring 11.59. Here is a close-up of the aim spot where the second bounce is at the tip of the dark screen square and your ball guide going to the right side of the cup. For hole 5, I just like going to the right. For some reason, I am not hitting the left side. So here I am going to the right. With a Thor 7, you're only going to use um, all but two bars of top spin. With a Thor 6, you're going to use max top spin with two right spin. You're going to aim down the center of the fairway and then over adjust your shot with a plus 10% over adjustment. And then you're going to use a little bit of curl and a little bit of overpower. I'm trying to mimic the Thor 6 shot because I'm trying to get to a specific yardage of around 371. At 371, I know my thorn plays at 50%. So at 370, I added 2% to the yardage and came up with 52%. So I played this at 52% slider with a plus 10% over adjustment of my shot. Used a little tiny bit of backspin, you don't need a lot, and then adjust your shot. One thing I have noticed on this shot is if you get a king win, meaning 8.5 or higher, you want to offset your shot to the right edge of the cup. Um, the seems to push the ball more, the higher the wind goes. So if you get a king wind, offset it to the right edge of the cup.
For hole 6, if you do not have an APOC 6, I suggest using a power 4 ball. Um, with a power 5, or with an APOC 5, a power 4 ball just makes it a tad bit easier. So here, with my APOC 5, I used a power 4 ball. If you don't have an APOC 5, you can either use your EM8 or your Thor Hammer 6. Those both can get you the yardage you need. I over adjusted my shot with a 10% over adjustment and then I did full overpower and a little bit of curl to compensate for a great left. For the second shot, I was trying a bounce over shot with my other clubs and just with no success. So I resorted back to the rough bump. So here we are playing at a plus 30% elevation and I'm spinning my ball to the hole. Now either it should be offset maybe to the right, but the ball guide is so glitchy that it might be hard to do. So I'm just aiming my shot at the hole and then over adjusting my shot with a plus 30% here. Here I used max numbers with a power three in my app because I wasn't at complete max. But what I should have done possibly was just do max numbers or at 95% slider. I'm still not sure, but it was a very close shot. So this one is still going to be a lucky drop. For hole 7, you're going to be playing at a plus 10% elevation at 53% slider with a sniper 10. You're going to use 4.5 left spin and 4 top spin. You can either use a wind ball or a kingmaker. The choice is yours. Thank you again, Morris, for dropping this shot and providing me with the footage. So here, 4.5 left spin, 4 top spin, and the red ring is going to be at the tip of the bunker, and your offset is going to be just to the left of the cup or left of the pin. You are then going to pull your angle at a 1201 pull angle with a plus 10% elevation at 53% slider for a sniper 10. Here is a closer look of where the aim spot was. The red ring is by the tip and the ball guide going to the hole. For hole eight, there are two wind angles. One with a straight wind, as you see here, where it's pointing more towards the eye, and a right to left crosswind, which is pointing more towards the W. This is very important with the next shot I'm about to show you. We are playing the hook shot. So with the first straight angle, this is the straight wind, we are going to be doing max right spin with 4.5 top spin with a high wind and 5 top spin with a low wind. And then you're going to count your 20 rings, but the 20 rings ends up near the rock. So what we have figured out is that with a straight wind, you are going to be with your yellow ring basically touching the rough to the right. So the right hand side of your yellow ring is going to be touching the rough. So you're inside the rough line a little, you know, a, a tad because your wind is going to be pushing your ball to the right with the straight wind. Your curl is going to be just on the outside of the triangle and then you're going to do a full slice. If you don't like this option, I suggest you go watch Fenzel's stream this afternoon. He, uh, DMAC, basically explained exactly how they are performing this shot which could be a little bit safer if you do not like the slice option. Here is the wind that's going from right to left, so it's pushing against your ball and you can miss the fairway if you're not careful. Here I used my take shot button to see exactly where the wind was and it was pointing to the extreme W, meaning it was the cross wind. So I did four, uh, max right spin with five bars of top spin since it was a low wind. So here you want your yellow ring to be basically splitting the rough line. You, so you're basically going to be further right of the straight wind, so that way you will catch the fairway. Here again, your curl is going to be just outside the triangle with full um, 
overpower and slice. This also works with an APOC 5. Now an APOC 7 and above I am not too sure of and you will have to look that up. For hole 9 if you have an APOC 5 or 6 you are going to be using max right spin with 5.5 bars of top spin. You're going to have your blue ring as it's stretched out touching the rough and then you're going to over adjust your shot with a 10% over adjustment and then you will push up to max. With an APOC 5 you can use full curl, with an APOC 6 use full curl and move a tad in and then you are going to back off the overpower just a tad. So you're just going to be a tad under full overpower and a tad under full curl and then you're going to try and release on perfect. The only yardage we have right now is 422. At 422 we played this at mid goliath. So to um, adjust sh shots with other yardages you're going to plus or minus 2% from there. So here she did about max right spin with 4 to 4.5 bars of top spin, aimed her ball guide at the hole, and then over adjusted her shot with a plus 20% over adjustment. So again at 422 she played this at mid distance of her club with a plus 20% over adjustment pulling as straight as she could. And remember guys, hit perfect. All these shots and more will be updated on the 19th hole expert tournament page. The link will be in the description below. And good luck this weekend. Good luck on your opening rounds as well. And happy golfing guys.